Ladies and gentlemen, for the USS Milwaukee Commissioning Committee, Mr. Bob Euchre. This beautiful stadium wasn't here when I played for the Milwaukee Braves back in 1962. And a lot of water has passed under the bridges of the Milwaukee River since then. Yet Miller Park is representative of the growth, vitality, and rich history of this wonderful community and of the spirit and energy of the people who live here. And now to honor this great city, the littoral combat ship Milwaukee is to be commissioned here on the shores of Lake Michigan. I hope that you enjoy what you see as you learn more about this historic event. The Freedom Class Milwaukee was christened in December of 2013 and will be commissioned in the fall of 2015. Lockheed Martin is the prime contractor for the LCS with Naval architect Gibbs and Cox providing engineering support. The Freedom Class is built by Marinette Marine Corporation in Marinette, Wisconsin, a Fincantieri Marine Group company. LCS Milwaukee meets the United States Navy goal of a small, fast, highly maneuverable, and relatively inexpensive warship to operate in the littoral zone, close to shore. Its mission is to counter threats of coastal mines and submarines, as well as pirates and terrorists operating small, fast, armed boats. The littoral combat ship, designed with multi-mission capabilities, is one of the most technologically advanced vessels sailing the oceans of the globe. With interchangeable mission modules, Milwaukee may be reconfigured for a variety of roles, including anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare, mine countermeasure, surveillance and reconnaissance, homeland defense and maritime intercept, special operations, and logistics. LCS Milwaukee is configured with a helicopter deck and hangar and is capable of launch and recovery of helicopters and a tactical unmanned air vehicle. The ship is armed with the Precision Attack Missile System and the MK-110 57mm Naval Gun System, firing 220 rounds a minute to a range of about 9 miles. Milwaukee has a top speed of an amazing 40 plus knots. We are elated that LCS-5 the future USS Milwaukee will be commissioned right here in our beautiful city. This warship will play a global role in protecting the sea lanes, in projecting our flag, and in defense of our nation. It represents a whole new generation of high-tech ships that will define the U.S. Navy of the future. The littoral combat ship, the USS Milwaukee, is a living tribute to the quality craftsmanship and dedicated workforce we have right here in Wisconsin, and a shining symbol of independence and prosperity. We're so proud of a ship not only built in the state of the city for which she is named, but launched and commissioned here as well. Many of us were in Marinette when Milwaukee was christened last December. It was a thrill watching her go into the water. For the crew members of LCS, the city of Milwaukee is a great place to call their second home. Today, Milwaukee is a thriving cultural center, an economic powerhouse, and home to five Fortune 500 companies. Yet it retains its old world charm, having been named one of the dozen distinctive destinations by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. Milwaukee has earned the popular nickname City of Festivals. The city hosts the Wisconsin State Fair, as well as an international lakefront fair, Summerfest, that draws about a million visitors each year to its 11 stages. We love having the sailors from the future USS Milwaukee come here for a visit. It's a joy to show off the largest city in the state of Wisconsin. They get to see firsthand what an amazing quality of life we have here, and they'll be welcomed with open arms and a full dose of Milwaukee hospitality. Milwaukee has more than 140 parks with over 15,000 acres, facilities for sunbathing, picnicking, grilling, and ice skating. Milwaukee is the cultural center of our state, home to the Milwaukee County Zoo and numerous museums of art, science, natural and social history, as well as a variety of facilities for the performing arts. The War Memorial is a moving tribute to the brave men and women who have died serving our country. And the Harley-Davidson Museum is a popular tourist attraction and a source of pride for our community. Milwaukee has one of the highest per capita student populations in North America and 18 institutions of higher learning call Milwaukee home. 
It has excellent public and private schools, and it ranks high in scholastic achievement statistics. For the sports fan, Milwaukee has it all. In addition to the Brewers, the city boasts the NBA Bucks and the AHL Admirals, as well as Indy Racing, Arena Football, Soccer, and Women's and Australian Rules football teams. And of course, this city is full of Green Bay Packers fans. For the outdoor enthusiast, water sports of every variety are abundant on Lake Michigan. Our area is a paradise for hunters and fishermen, and a number of challenging ski resorts are just a short drive away. And those are just a few of the many reasons why Milwaukee is a wonderful place to visit, to live, and to raise a family. As LCS Milwaukee has come to life, we've enjoyed having the crew visit Milwaukee and experiencing all that our county has to offer. It's a great place for LCS Milwaukee crews and their families to visit, and we hope to think of as their adopted home. In the meantime, our county has been enriched by having the LCS 5 crew come to Milwaukee, visit our schools, and inspire our children to learn science, technology, engineering, and math. It's a mutually nurturing relationship that we relish. The people of Milwaukee are thrilled with our newest namesake. We are a proud and patriotic city, and we will turn out in full force when Milwaukee is commissioned next year. LCS Milwaukee exemplifies the strength and vitality of our great city. May God bless this ship and the wonderful men and women who sail her. So there you have it, a magnificent city and a magnificent ship that bears its name. The littoral combat ship Milwaukee celebrates the spirit of our great community. It honors the countless citizens from Wisconsin who have valiantly served our nation and it serves as a tribute to the many thousands of our citizens who have given their lives so that freedom may live. I'll see you at the lakefront in the fall of 2015.